Hi everyone, thank you for joining us on Fact vs Fiction this Friday. I am Radhika and as always Archis has joined us in. And uh, today we want to talk about uh, some flack that uh, Larson and Tubro's financial services arms uh, seems to be getting on social media. Claim is that an employee of theirs who allegedly goes by the name uh, Piyush Sharma uh, has been making Islamophobic comments and also uh, very uh, derogatory comments against uh, Kashmiri uh, women. And all of this has played out on uh, Facebook. What's happening is that social media users have taken screenshots of the derogatory comments and then posted them on Twitter, uh, tagging the company and asking, uh, uh, almost holding them accountable for the behavior of this supposed employee. Uh, so, Arches, what has been the response that has come in uh, from LNT? So, uh, Radhika, let's just understand that this is in the backdrop of the art- abrogation of Article 370, where of a lot of Kashmiris around the around the country have faced harassment, hmm. and you know so. So this coming in this time also makes it rather, you know, important to address it. So a lot of people had taken to Twitter and asked LNTFS uh, what the situation is. And, you know, they responded instantly saying that this person does not work for them. Mm -hmm. And we reached out to them personally and a spokesperson of the company told us that this is definitely not true. And this Piyush Sarma individual does not work for LNTFS Mm. and that they take this matter up with the authorities. Mm. And we also found that the profile picture this person was using Mm. was actually taken from the Instagram account of a completely non-Indian person called Alex Soffer. So uh, so it's basically a lot of fakery going on here. All right. So this was basically a, you know, a fake account in a sense. And this uh, account has been deleted from Facebook now. Uh, But the company has responded saying that this wasn't an employee of theirs who was making uh, these remarks after, uh, uh, you know, the special uh, status of uh, Jammu and Kashmir was uh, taken away. Now, of course, uh, in the past one week's time, uh, we have seen a lot of misinformation centered around Jammu and Kashmir. We at Boom have been uh, debunking these stories left, right and center. A lot of old videos uh, have been resurfacing as well yeah. and all of them as we have found out Arches, uh tend to give a new more sinister meaning uh, to something that has happened a long time ago that's right actually uh so since uh, since monday we have actually fact checked around 17 stories already you know and uh, i mean they are kind of two narratives being created you know and on one side I mean, there was this story about uh, uh, the, uh, an old video of a funeral of a Kashmiri policeman mm. where people are mourning and that has been shared to kind of claim that, you know, it shows atrocities towards Muslims in Kashmir. Mm. And then on the other hand, there are, uh, there was a video of uh, children, old video of children in Jammu mm. singing Kashmir Hamara Hai. Mm. And that was shared to show that uh, Kashmiri children are celebrating mm. the decision made by the government. So mm. the two narratives are one, there's atrocities and the other is uh, Kashmiris are celebrating this. Mm-hmm. But the truth is that there is just a lot of confusion which is being exploited by the makers of fake news. And mm-hmm. uh, this rumor mongering is actually creating these narratives that are actually not true at all because we don't have any basis or foundation to make these claims. Absolutely. And they end up causing distrust uh, where, you know, it shouldn't be created. So, guys, be very, very careful now and in the days ahead when you uh, feel tempted to share something that is allegedly out of Jammu and Kashmir and represents the current situation. There is a lot of misinformation online on that front. Uh, we'll wrap up uh, this edition of Fact versus Fiction on that note. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. And uh, in the meantime, if you do come across messages that you're doubtful about forward them to our helpline which is double seven double zero nine zero six triple one thanks for tuning in